I'm Nathan McMahon with Avi Networks, Director of Sales Engineers. So here to talk about Avi's uh, control plane architecture and why we've changed the way the architecture has been done for the last 20 years. And what you've got is kind of the legacy architecture, which is this monolithic approach of having the control plane or the management inside of the same box as your data plane or the, the core functions of the load balancing. So what Avi's done is we've separated this out. We've got our controller, which is our repository of policies and all management, and then we separated from that and pulled out the data plane, which is the actual load balancing components. And we've done this for a number of reasons, one of which is this allows us to horizontally scale out our capacity. So we, if we're at capacity at, on our controller, we can increase this capacity. If we're at capacity on the data plane, we could increase that capacity. A great example of this is if you get hit with a DOS attack on a monolithic kind of a device like this, you're going to find that all of the CPU is dedicated towards trying to handle that DOS attack. And you try to log into the GUI to figure out what's going on, and the GUI is just unresponsive. In this case, the controller sits off box, so it has all the time in the world to talk to you about what's going on, provide you forensics, logs, et cetera, while your data plane is busy fighting off and defending against this DOS attack. So first is going to be your horizontal scalability of resources. The second is that this allows us to bring our application services closer to the applications. In this case, I need to have all of my applications be talking back to this central point of contact, whereas in Avi's environment, we can have these applications sit wherever they sit, and we bring the application delivery services and infrastructure to them. Uh, this also allows us to have a lot more flexibility when it comes to multi-tenancy. If I've got a number of tenants, 100 different tenants, they can each be given their own separate uh, load balancing infrastructure. Uh, and I still am going to do all of my management to one place. So if I've got my APIs and my scripts and my automated management uh, tasks, they're simply making one call to a controller. And from here, the controller will divide that and send these tasks to whichever load balancer or infrastructure is the one that's handling this particular application at any time. And this allows us to get move more towards the um, away from the pets model and towards the cattle model, which is if any one of these load balancing infrastructure or services dies, that's fine. I'll automatically have my controller spin up another one. But your centralized management access never changes. Your APIs, your scripts keep going here, even though this infrastructure is growing, shrinking, scaling, migrating automatically on the fly. This gives you a lot more ability to provide uh, better availability, resiliency, better scalability, and simply an easier system to manage just based upon those underlying architectural choices that Avi has made.